In the 2022-23 academic year, the Faculty of Arts at the University of Hong Kong will, for the first time, offer a new BA programme, the Bachelor of Arts in Humanities and Digital Technologies. This program offers students the opportunity to learn the skills of data science, programming, application building and design beside their choice of humanities discipline. This means that students may study music, history, English, Chinese, linguistics, art history, global creative industries or any of the other specialisations of the Faculty of Arts while at the same time taking courses in introductory programming, interdisciplinary digital technologies, and learning how to develop new applications and platforms in the digital space. This degree program is a new four-year degree for the 2022 intake. The program's innovative, future-oriented content is unique in Hong Kong and Asia. This program is the first of its kind uniting technology skills for a range of competitive careers with the skills of analysis, communication and problem solving that are the strengths of a humanities degree. A traditional arts degree trains students in the critical and analytical thinking and creative skills of particular humanities disciplines, but tackling the world's problems and finding a place in a competitive jobs market increasingly requires expertise in the digital arena. This degree equips students with the training in humanities and digital technologies needed to tackle the world's multifaceted social, cultural, economic and environmental problems, and trains future leaders by endowing them with innovative thinking, problem-solving skills, and an interdisciplinary mindset. The design of this new program is based on three core principles. First, it recognises how central digital technology is to the modern world, and the ways in which the use of digital technologies is transforming how we live and work. The program offers students cutting-edge digital methods for tackling the questions of their humanities disciplines and new ways to use their arts and humanities perspectives to engage with and criticise digital technologies themselves. Second, the degree recognises that it's not only technology that changes the content we experience, but it's our content and ideas and creativity that define and drive new technologies. The program produces original thinkers who are capable of understanding, working with and pushing the boundaries of digital technologies. Third, the program recognises the increasing significance of digital technologies to the job market and careers for Faculty of Arts graduates. The program will equip students with a range of hard and soft skills in the digital arena that will open new fields of opportunity in employment locally and globally. The Bachelor of Arts in Humanities and Digital Technologies will thus offer both practical and theoretical training, developing in students a unique skill set in humanities and digital technologies. Students will be equipped with the skills to drive pioneering work in their area of specialisation, with the capacity to think in new ways about technological innovation and with the ability to build a career in a wide array of fields. What we believe is that students graduating from this program should be future leaders in their chosen field that they should be creative thinkers and innovators capable of building real solutions to the problems they encounter or foresee. And we believe that our students should develop the real world experience to apply the skills they learn in class. They should therefore become expert users of digital technology in a range of arenas over the years of their degree program. The interdisciplinary structure of the program combines a humanities focus undertaken in a single Faculty of Arts program area with a focus in interdisciplinary digital technologies geared towards the knowledge and needs of humanists. These overlapping areas come together in the internship and capstone courses, a focus on 
experience and project-based learning in the program brings together students' digital technology skills with their chosen humanities discipline to create a truly interdisciplinary program structure. In the humanities side of the degree, students take introductory and advanced courses in any one of the 16 available arts majors. This means that students can decide individually what area they would like to focus on. This might be art history, Chinese language and literature, global and area studies, comparative literature, music, philosophy, translation, and many more. That humanities focus, as you can see from the diagram here, forms about 42 credits or seven courses in the central major of the degree program. At the same time, over the first three years of the degree, students take a range of interdisciplinary digital technologies courses that have a much more data, technology and digital humanities focus. This includes introductory and advanced topics in humanities and digital technology in which students will learn how to use a range of programming languages and in which they will use different softwares to build towards their own projects. Another focus, particularly in the advanced humanities and digital technologies course taken in third year, will be project management, learning to be a leader in a new project, coming up with ideas, developing a team, arranging time and building the software and other digital technologies needed. At the same time, in the first two years of the degree, students will take data science and computer programming from the um, departments of statistics and the department of computer science. So the same introductory level training that they would get if they had entered a degree to become computer scientists or programmers. But this work crosses over with the humanities to develop advanced interdisciplinary electives within the Bachelor of Arts. This means that students might take subjects like uh, gender and technology or courses in linguistics that use computational methods. The focus of the courses in the digital technologies area of the major isn't just with learning new programming languages and hard skills, but with learning how to apply these skills to questions that are of interest to the student in particular. In the final years of the degree program, students will take a guaranteed internship. This can be in third or fourth year and might be with a commercial company or with a non-profit organisation. The aim here is for students to be able to develop their own particular interests while gaining real industry experience. At the same time, over the course of the whole degree, there are ample opportunities for overseas exchange. These might be exchanges undertaken to similar programs offered by top universities around the world, perhaps UCLA in uh, California, or UPenn, Duke in the US, Toronto in Canada, King's College London, or other programs. At the same time, students in the BAHDT have access to all of the same programs and exchanges as BA students across the faculty. And so there are a range of potential extracurricular activities with which they might become involved. And at the end of the degree, a capstone project is undertaken, which allows students to really work closely with a project that is particularly of interest to them, developing the connections between their area of focus in the humanities and the digital and technological work they've been undertaking over the course of the programme. When students graduate from the BA in Humanities and Digital Technologies, there are a number of graduation pathways available to them. Students who, prepare, who prefer to continue with their studies might move on to an MA or an MPhil or a PhD in an area of the digital humanities, an area like humanities computing or digital media and information studies, or they may choose to move on to further studies in the more traditional areas of the humanities, whatever they have chosen to specialise in as part of their degree programme. Because students will be able to specialise in either an area of the humanities or in the digital arena, this expands enormously their potential for future study in the humanities. 
Universities at which students may choose to undertake their further studies are a range of globally leading research institutions in the US, uh, Europe, Australia and so forth. Employment opportunities are also broad at the end of this degree and we expect our students to engage in a range of careers. One of the main benefits of an arts degree is the skills that it provides in the communication areas the ability to write, to self-articulate, to be a manager, to be a leader, to involve oneself in marketing or consultancy or management and other fields. In the Bachelor of Arts in Humanities and Digital Technologies, students won't only develop their literacy uh, in spoken and written English, but across a range of digital literacies, the ability to program and build new platforms and apps. Employers value graduates with the kinds of broad perspectives, diverse experiences and technical skills that BAHDT students will graduate with. For further information about the program, please visit the HKU Arts website at ug.arts.hku.hk or write with inquiries to arts at hku.hk. I look forward to seeing many of you in our degree program in the future. Thank you.